In example three, we have the tweets of 11 casinos that were tracked during the week of June 1st to June 7th, 2010. The table below provides the number of positive interactions each casino had with customers during that week. Um, so that means that the casino posted a tweet and a customer or person on, the, on Twitter commented back. So can we conclude that the sample comes from a population that's normally distributed? So to assess normality, Again, we'll test the following hypotheses. Our data comes from a normal population. And the alternative statement that our data comes from a non-normal population. So with the data already entered in the stack crunch, we'll again select that Shapiro-Wilk normality test and generate our p-value, which in this case comes out to be 0 0.011. So the p-value is 0 0.011, which in this case is less than or equal to our value for alpha, which in this case is 0 0.03. So we reject the null hypothesis. So what we're saying is there is sufficient evidence to conclude that our data comes from a non-normally distributed population. So keep in mind this idea of concluding that something comes from a non-normal or normally distributed population really isn't an answer to any question of, of real meaning on its own. It's going to be a step of verifying the conditions so that then we can go on to testing claims about averages. So right now we're just looking at reaching these conclusions about normality, but then we're going to put that together with now with then actually answering some questions about our data. In example four, our last example, we have a table that lists the number of alcohol-related fatalities and car crashes per year. Can we conclude that this sample data comes from a population that is normally distributed? So again, Shapiro-Wilk test being fairly easy to set up, we always have the same hypotheses. So to assess normality, we'll test the following hypotheses. Oops. Sorry about that. We'll assess the or test the following hypotheses. So the null statement that our sample comes from a normally distributed population. The alternative hypothesis that our sample comes from a non-normally distributed population. and then generate our p-value. So again, we'll conduct the Shapiro-Wilk normality test and generate, in this case, a p-value of 0 0.0287, which in this case is less than or equal to our value for alpha, which is 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis. So there is sufficient evidence to conclude that our sample data comes from a non-normally distributed population.